Oh, the joys of trying to get a boat back on the trailer. This is just one of the fun things that occur down at your local boat ramp. The boat ramp really is one of my favorite subjects in boating. There's just so many fun things that go on down there. Now, they're not always fun to everybody, I understand that, but it's still an interesting spot. You're gonna see people try all kinds of different things down at the boat ramp. Some of them are gonna be great, some of them are gonna work just fine, and others are just not gonna go right at all. But this is just all part of the show that goes on down at the boat ramp, and it really is a form of entertainment. I mean, literally, go to some of the busiest boat ramps here in the United States, and you will likely find people lining the sides of those boat ramps on the weekends, sitting in lawn chairs, enjoying some adult beverages, just watching the entertainment go on, because they never know what to expect or what's going to happen. And things turn fast at the boat ramps. You just never know how quickly things can go wrong. All of a sudden, you're just sitting there launching your boat, thinking everything's okay. And the next thing you know, the truck you were in winds up in the water. Fortunately, sometimes at the boat ramp, we'll get some people like this who'll be willing to assist and help us get that truck back out. But you still have to be on your toes. Just because you think everything's fine now, the boat ramp's still always ready to strike. And here we get a lucky save, but it's not just trucks that are known to sink at the boat ramp. I mean, heck, we're there launching watercraft onto the water. And of course, here's another common scene we'll see down at the boat ramps, and that's where a vessel's out on the water, but for some reason, it's sinking. It's taking on water. Here our boat operator is obviously in distress. Fortunately for him, local law enforcement officials have offered to tow him up, but he's taking on water and both of his motors are dead. Get out of the way, Mr. Boat! Get out of the way! After a little debate, they do get this boat onto the trailer and the fishing boat even offers to help. As can be seen in that last video clip, sometimes at the boat ramp, you're gonna have to make some quick decisions. Things will go wrong and you need to figure out a way to get them rectified pretty quickly. Some of the worst mistakes we'll see at the boat ramp though, unfortunately, are self-inflicted. And one of the biggest ones we'll see is people decide they're gonna go ahead and try and tow a vessel and launch it down at the boat ramp with an improper vehicle that's just not rated to do it. And unfortunately, this can have some severe consequences as well. But we've still all got that friend, that guy that went out and bought the bigger boat but didn't pony up to get the bigger truck. And then, even once we get down to the boat ramp, we still got that learning curve. If you've never tried backing up a trailer, just in general, the trailer does the exact opposite typically of what you think it would do, which makes it difficult for some people to grasp this when they come down to the boat ramp. And so many people show up down to the boat ramp without ever trying to practice this, which still kind of blows my mind. I mean, think back to when you first started driving. There's no way you would have showed up to try and take your driver's test without ever have practiced driving a car. And backing down a trailer is kind of the same thing. Before you go down to the boat ramp on a busy Saturday, take that trailer to a parking lot somewhere and go ahead and practice and make sure that you have the skills needed to back this thing up. And if for whatever reason, when you're in that parking lot, you find out you don't, go ahead and enlist a friend. Kind of like my man's doing right here. Have them help you back the trailer up. Whatever it takes to get this done safely and efficiently down at the ramp is what you're gonna wanna do. Now I know that the boat ramp can be intimidating, especially to the beginning boater. They may not know all the rules and everything that needs to happen down at the boat ramp, which can just add to the frustration and the pressure of being a new boater. So go ahead and take that time, maybe even go down to the boat ramp, watch some people do it so you fully understand everything you're gonna need to do when you get down there. Now I know what some of you guys are thinking already, you're like, Broncos Guru, this boat ramp thing stinks. I don't want anything to do with it. And of course, there are other options out there. You know, one of the things you can do is become a little inventive, find some new ideas and new ways to get yourself out on the water. But you really, in the end, just have to find that way that's comfortable for you. Whatever it takes for you guys to get out there and enjoy yourselves and make it a nice, relaxing time. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, well, maybe I'll just keep the boat in a marina. 
maybe that docking thing's more for me. Docking's got its own set of challenges as well. You gotta make sure you approach the dock at the correct speeds and pace because you never want to approach the dock any harder than you want to hit it. And if you do, well, things can go wrong. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know, and you might see your stories over here. Just like Charlie Burns, Felix Castro Gibbio, Ohio Garden Girl, Christian Dressen, AJ, that McClung Zero, and Esperel70 did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.